Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video we'll show how to set up a thermal transient analysis. Transient thermal analysis is useful for capturing thermal fields as a function of time. For example, this 25 watt soldering iron can heat up and be ready for use after about 5 minutes. You can observe how the temperature changes until it gets hot enough to melt the solder, about 360 degrees. We start with a steady state thermal analysis and observe the temperature of the tip is 371 degrees at equilibrium. Notice we reduced the complexity by sectioning out two thirds of the soldering iron model so it will mesh and solve faster than a full model. To set up the transient analysis you need to access study properties and change it to be transient. Set an overall solution time and then a time step increment for calculation of the solution at each step. After this, you can specify initial conditions such as the starting temperature of all parts. Here we duplicate the steady state thermal analysis and paste it to a new one. In the properties dialog of the study, change the solution type from steady state to transient. We know the iron heats up to equilibrium in about 5 minutes, so we set the total time to 300 seconds. For good fidelity in the solution, you can adjust the time increment to small steps. For an initial approximation, we choose 10 second steps. This results in a calculation interval of 300 seconds divided by 10 second intervals, or 30 steps. So the simulation will calculate a solution 30 times. Now specify the initial temperature of all the parts. We assume the entire assembly is currently at room temperature or about 75 degrees. Right click on the thermal icon and choose temperature. Change the option to initial temperature. We select all components of the assembly and set them to 75 degrees. Now we're ready for solution. Run the solution and you'll see a progress dialog that shows the total number of steps and the solution step number. When finished, you can plot the thermal field information at any of the time steps. You can develop a graph of the tip temperature with time. Simply probe the item of interest on any plot and click on the response button in the dialog to generate the graph. Here you can see the tip takes about 184 seconds to get to an equilibrium or steady state temperature of about 360 degrees. You can also animate the contour plots with respect to time. You can choose the starting step, the ending step, and the step interval. In this video we discussed how to set up a thermal transient analysis.